a president who insists without evidence the election was stolen from him, pressure on a top election official to find votes to help him overturn a result. The audio of the hour-long call from the Oval Office to Georgia's Secretary of State was first obtained by the Washington Post and captures Donald Trump even warning of vague legal consequences if he didn't do something. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have, because we won the state. It's a move that may create legal problems for the president. He's pressuring an elected official to change the result of an election already certified by the state. President Trump claimed again without evidence he'd won Georgia by hundreds of thousands of votes. He didn't. The state went for Biden. And he raised other conspiracy theories, all dismissed by Brad Raffensperger. Well, Mr. President, the challenge that you have is the day that you have to vote. Donald Trump has refused to accept he lost the 2020 presidential election. Congress meets on Wednesday to confirm the result, although a number of Republican senators plan to object. He summoned election officials from various states to the White House and failed in almost every legal effort to contest results. One longtime Washington observer says even for Donald Trump, this call is remarkable. It's an outrage. possibly to steal votes so that they can win the state of Georgia. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris has been in Georgia for an election rally ahead of Tuesday's Senate runoff. The president's call was there, hanging over her calls. Well, it was, yes, certainly the voice of desperation. Most certainly that. And it was a bald, bald, a bold abuse of power by the president of the United States.